Today, at the International Court of Justice in The Hague, Nicaragua brought Germany to trial for its complicity by sending weapons to Israel in the midst of this genocide. We at Code Pink and groups around the country went to the embassy in Washington, D.C. and the consulates in New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles to show our support for Nicaragua in this case. Why didn't they bring the U.S. to trial? Well, the U.S. is such a rogue state, it doesn't even recognize the jurisdiction of the International Court of Justice. Hopefully one day the U.S. will be sent to trial as well. We were inside talking to the German representation. Uh, they made a point of telling us that any incursion into Rafa would be considered a line crossed. They failed to recognize that on Super Bowl Sunday, while hundreds of thousands of people here in the United States were busy watching a football game get passed back and forth across a 100-yard line, there was indeed an incursion into Rafa where 50 bombs were dropped in the span of a half an hour. One and a half million people, that number ever growing, displaced, living in tents, living in the most unimaginable circumstances, continue to be assaulted, not just by air, but by land, and now the sea is also being turned against them. So when? When is that line too far? Because for the Germans, apparently, it has not happened yet. It said a lot of formality, a lot of sense of there needs to be investigations, investigations take a lot of time, that there's no way to prove yet that there are war crimes occurring. <laughs> no. and Shame. That, Shame. 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 We were fed what a lot of us have been hearing for months, which is that this is a process that requires the understanding of both sides, that there needs to be due process. And while there was a sense of grief in that room, there was no sense of urgency. The sense of urgency that we know is demanded. The sense of urgency that recognizes the humanity of the Palestinian people and the humanity of all of us. Where we have been here for six months begging for them to just stop war crimes, to stop targeting civilians, to stop using 2,000 pound bombs in one of the most densely populated cities on this planet, where most of the people we have watched slaughtered to date are children and women, and that is not to disregard the innocent young men. The men, the grandparents who have all been killed and now a population of people starving to death. It has gone far enough. This rogue state is targeting consulates. It is destroying the healthcare system. It has crossed every line if there were ever a line to cross. It also leads me to believe that they are controlled the support of what's going on, let alone that they are you know, they're, they're not just really defending Israel on, on this international criminal stage, but they're also backing them because we know that 70% or so of the weapons that Israel ha gets are from the U.S. here, and another almost 30% are received from Germany.